Bonjour, bienvenue, welcome to Seb Delaney's channel. I don't look like Seb, I'm probably 100 pounds larger than he is. My name is Buddy Warwick, you probably recognize me from other YouTube channels, in particular Salamandran. I worked for Alejandro Solomon for several years and now I have my own channel, I'm kind of doing my own thing. And today I'm taking over Seb's channel because he still is, he's still having some throat issues and Seb, we wish you well and hope that you start feeling better soon. But for your video today on this channel takeover, I wanted to do something that is very Seb. So what else could I possibly do other than pick up a Lotus? This car was loaned to me by Galpin Lotus. They are based here in Los Angeles. As you guys can see, there's the Pacific Ocean right out there. I know it's not the Monaco views, but I love it and it looks so, so good. But this right here is the Lotus Evora GT. This has 416 horsepower, 317 pound-feet of torque. It is a mid-engine V6 and it is one of the best driver cars that I have ever driven. Guys, this car is by far gonna be a modern classic. All right, so here we are in the 2020 Lotus Evora GT. Wow, what a car. I mean, this thing drives like a go-kart. It's glued to the ground. The handling is superb absolutely superb i wasn't expecting the car to feel as as glued to the road as this does i thought it was going to be bouncing around a little bit more just because of how much it weighs it's 3200 pounds or just just a shy under 3200 pounds i'm not quite sure what that uh converts in kilos but just under 3200 pounds 416 horsepower 317 pound feet of torque the output that comes from this thing is mind-blowing and then you take that horsepower and you transfer it to the road and how it handles on these turns I mean it is just glued so this car is really designed for the driver in mind I mean it's built for drivers it's built for people that enjoy having control of the car and being able to feel the input from the pavement to the pedals to the palms I mean you want to be able to feel every single bit of, of what's happening on the road and and this car really really gives that the car's fitted with michelin pilot sport cup twos and they are really really grippy i mean as you guys have heard on several different channels these are the tires that everybody wants in their cars and and i i have a hard time disagreeing with that statement at all it is a uh it is a great tire now the car is set up to where it's 19s in the front, 20s in the in the rear. Uh, it gives the car a beautiful, beautiful stance. Maybe I'd like to, you know, lower it just a hair more, but they have this car so dialed in that it it honestly it doesn't matter. It just comes down to a preference uh, of, of how you want it to look. You could also fit maybe you know 20s in the front, 21s in the back. Uh, I may be crazy. That that may not actually be an option, but we're just gonna go with it for the for the sake of the video. Also, this car in particular, like I was saying, is a two plus two. Oh, I'm not even in sport mode. Ah, oh, let's turn on the exhaust. Boom. There we go. Ah, oh, much better. Anyways. The car is set up as a two plus two, so you can fit a friend in the back if, you know, if they're small enough, Seb, I'm looking at you. Or like I did earlier today, I had my two kids in the back seat and they fit fine with their booster seats. So it it can be a family car, surprisingly enough. You can put your uh, significant other in the front and children in the back and it's, uh, it's good for everybody. Uh, is it a car that you're gonna take on a long road trip? Absolutely not. This car is something that if you want to have fun as a daily or you want to just have a weekend toy to go to the track uh, or to the canyons, this is that fun car. Um, I think that it is it is well worth its money. The features and, and the offerings that come from this car make it well worth the buck. It's just such a great, great car. I mean, what, what do you compare it to? Just thinking about the way that it's a driver's car and in the budget range that it falls in, this is 
comparable to a, a Cayman or you know maybe a maybe a Vantage? Like what what else would you put it up against? It just it's such a fun, fun driver's car and the availability in a six-speed manual that is a brilliant, brilliant shift. I mean it is smooth as butter and such a such a joy uh to bang through these gears. Okay, we're gonna let this guy go. Thank you, thank you, appreciate it. You're a good man. Oh, we got two-way traffic here, okay. Um, where was I? Uh, da, 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 da. Anyways, what it compares to. L let me know in the comments below, what, what would you put this car up against? I, I mean, I'm curious because I'm having a hard time coming up with something that is, uh, that, that beats this car uh, for the for the price and, and the value. It is such a great, great car. Man, we are on some windy roads now. Holy smokes. Okay, I wound up on a place called Tuna Canyon, which is super, super windy, and you gotta be careful. Uh, here in America, we're not used to very narrow roads like you guys are in, in Europe. We're, we're used to having things that you can drive an F-150 or an Expedition through. Um, so we tend to get a little lazy with, with the width of the, of, of the roads and we, we want to take up as much as possible. But through Tuna Canyon, it's, it's tight as a backcountry road in London. So we are uh, currently having to play it cautious here. Thank you, thank you, I appreciate it. All right, where are we going now? Uh, there's no turning there, so we'll go this way. Um, okay, back to the car. And also this this color. The color of this car in particular, of, of the one that Galpin loaned out to me, this is, I believe, the same color that the, uh, that the Avaya Halo, the Avaya Halo on your side of the pond sports. And I think it's a beautiful, beautiful yellow. What do you guys think of the color? I think it's just phenomenal. Anyways, back to the car. Uh, I haven't even touched really on the engine other than it's 416 horsepower, but this engine makes this car more reliable than you would actually think. This is the same engine that you would find in most of your Ubers and Lyfts across across the world, you know, with Toyota Camrys and, and, and such. I mean, this is a V6 from, from Toyota that has been repurposed for Lotus. I think that that says a lot for how Lotus is thinking as a company or how they thought developing this car. They wanted to make sure that owners that got into this were going to get a reliable piece of machinery and Toyota has proven over the years that they have the most reliable engines that, that there is. I mean, you just look at the resale value of, of modern Toyotas. They, The engines go for hundreds of thousands, oh, oh, well this one may not last as long as we want it to. Uh, <laughs> Uh, but Toyotas are just, they're such a good, good engine and, it, and it's great that Lotus decided to go the route of, of grabbing this engine for it. It has a lot of power output for, for a V6. Uh, it's also supercharged. You can see the supercharger sitting on top of the engine and it's fun being able to see the little, uh, the little wastegate kind of flicker on and off as you, uh, as you're driving the car. You can see it out the rear window. But this car is just, oh look, Fisker, Fisker Karma, or is that a Karma Rivero? Yep, Karma Rivero, baby blue. But this car, it's, it's just, the way that it's set up is gonna be one that people are going to, they're gonna be searching high, high and low for. The depreciation on it over the next couple of years is probably gonna, you know, it's probably gonna drop a bit, get it down into the 50, 60 range. If it gets there, snatch one up as soon as you can because it's gonna start appreciating from there and uh, this is this is definitely gonna be a, a, a modern classic car and, and maybe just a classic car in the future, who knows? But with Lotus's heritage and, and everything that they brought to Formula One racing, what they've done for you know drivers across the world and, and how they've built this cult following and a community of, of car owners. This is one of the best cars that you can get. What would you put it up against? I mean, let me know in the comments down below. What would you put this car up against? Sub $100,000 because really it's in a class with a, a, a Cayman or a, a Vantage really. What else, what else do you put it up against?
So guys, what did you think? The Lotus Evora GT, wow, what an incredible car. Guys, if you ever get a chance to drive one of these, please do it. If you're in the market looking for one, make sure that you hit up Galp and Lotus. Guys, I cannot recommend this car enough. It's an incredible car, incredible driver's car. It, it dives into the heart of what we as drivers want in a vehicle, and this is it. All right, so that's all I have for you guys today. Seb, I hope you start feeling better. If you aren't already subscribed to my channel, please, the link is in the description below. Come on over, subscribe. We're gonna be doing a lot of family fun content. I hope that you guys enjoy it. Uh, if you're not already subscribed to Seb's channel, please make sure that you subscribe as well. He also has a, a ah, fly in my ear, fly in my ear. Guys, thanks again. I'll see you next time.